The name they gave me is B-26, but I prefer Martin. I'm in a lot of pain. It's hard to breathe and I'm scared. Lately things have been worse than usual, but they have to get better, right? Let's start from the beginning. See that cute guy in the middle? That's me. To the left is Charlotte, my older sister by one minute. To the right is the baby of the family, Maggie. And that's our mom. I barely remember her. One day, a big blue hand came into our house and took our mother away. It was the same hand that brings us food and water. Charlotte is the one who raised us. She was so strong. She would lift our spirits when the cold became too much and calm us every day when it would get bright and noisy out of nowhere. One day, the hand came back, but it wasn't carrying any food. Charlotte looked panicked. The hand made its way towards me. Charlotte pushed me out of the way and it grabbed her. We didn't know what was happening. I tried to comfort Maggie, but I was so scared. Later, the hand came back with Charlotte. We were so happy. We tried to hug her, but she pushed us back. She coughed up blood. We asked what happened, where she had been, what was going on. She didn't respond. She couldn't. She was dead before the lights went out. They didn't bring us any food the next day, and Charlotte's body was still just lying there. Maggie began to panic. She clawed at the walls, screaming for help. We were terrified, and we were starving. We knew we would die if we didn't eat, and the hands that fed us were nowhere in sight. Suddenly, the hand reached into the cage and pulled me away. The hand slammed me against the table. They poked a big needle into my belly and filled me up with some liquid. The hands put one of the big sharp things into my stomach, and it cut me open. They poked at my insides with different needles and things. It really hurt. They dropped me back in my container. Maggie was gone. My body began to hurt. Terrible pain. The same thing that happened to Charlotte was happening to me, but I didn't die. I just kept hurting. I didn't think I'd make it through the night, but I did. Then, the hand came back. The hand took me to the table again. It cut me open. It scraped at my insides and tore out a piece of my chest. I could barely breathe. Why was this happening? I found myself back in my container, but still Maggie was gone. Where was she? I began drifting in and out of consciousness. Was this the end? I woke up in a different container. No bedding, food, or water. Nothing to relieve my pain. Then the hand came in carrying another mouse. It was Maggie! She told me all of the horror she went through, and her story was the same as mine. But at least I'm finally back with her. Maybe things will get better. She's suffocating. So am I. This isn't a new beginning, this is the end. My chest burns. My side is turning to black. I tried to say goodbye to Maggie, but it's too late. Right now, millions of rats, rabbits, primates, cats, dogs, and mice are locked in cages suffering in laboratories. You can help them by only buying products that are cruelty-free. Thanks for listening.